to be the Prince of Poise as he went up against Enrique Gutierrez. Anthony Thompson just did a workmanlike job here. He just never stopped walking forward and throwing his shots, but he was very precise, very workmanlike. It was a very impressive victory. Thompson took what was offered, did not gamble too much, and wins it impressively at 147. We'll be back with more action from 2001 Everlast U.S. Challenge from the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Lake Placid, New York, against Julius Fogel. Andre Ward has an 18-8 victory already against Fogel in the U.S. Championships. Fogel be trying to avenge that, try to make some adjustments over that last bout. Andre Ward, only 17 years old. One of those young fighters we were talking about. What an excellent showcase for the young talent. And to be the top U.S. boxer at such a young age, it's a nice thing to try to carry with you for the next four years, or three years, whatever it is, as you wind it down to the next Olympic Games. Three more years and then he's ready to go. He's got to get, keep growing and keep getting smarter as a fighter and learning to to do all the things that you need to do to win an Olympics. Boy, he sure got some physical skills. Quick. Meanwhile, Julius Fogel showing the love of the amateur program. Still being here at age 29, long after a time when most boxers would be here if they want to get for the pro career. But Fogel enjoys being with the program. Fighting out of Fort Carson, Colorado in the Army. Top shape. So now we have the youth and, and the veteran in terms of the life years here. Yes, you do. And you got a southpaw and a right hander again. No, he switched over. He didn't want to be part of a contrasting styles matchup, so he changed. <laughs> he switched on us. Andre Ward got some great, ooh, nice right here. Good nice. quickness. Good quickness by Andre Ward. Fogel trying to return the fire, and with his jab hand, Ward able to stop him from scoring. Fogel nearly scored with the right hand, and then the next time he throws the right hand, he gets in. Real competitive match here. Somebody often makes an adjustment and starts to settle into a game and take over. Let's see if that happens here. They find out the other, what the other guy's got and try and make an adjustment. And, and if it works, great. They keep going. But they have, to, they have to really feel the guy out that first round. Find out how their speed matches up with this guy's speed. There has been a pattern of a big second round by one boxer over another, so big that the boxer usually carries it all the way to the end with a victory. Really what's telling you is how, how important that adjustment is. Andre Ward is switching over to southpaw now, feeling comfortable that he can do that. Yeah, he toyed with it in the first round and then went back to a right-hander. Now he switches back. And he got caught as he switched because he Move switched back. from a bad spot. Yep, you gotta pick your spots. <laughs> you don't like to switch going back. You also don't like to switch when you're in close. No, nope. some guys can do it though. If they have the quick movement. Right. From the amateurs last year, Michael Bennett could do it on the inside very well. Andre Ward putting up pretty good numbers here in the second round. Good hand speed. And has some good power. He starts to edge in front of Julius Fogel as we come to the end of round two. Doing more, performing at my best, uses up nutrients. Centrum Performance helps replace them with more key B vitamins plus ginseng and ginkgo. It helps energize my mind and body. Life's demanding. 
but I thrive on it. Centrum Performance. Life demands it. Discipline. Desire. Dedication. For them, it's not about the money. It's about the dream. USA Boxing. Training America's future Olympic champions. I'm a man. I'm a man. I got abs, muscles, and... Oh, wow. He is a tight. Hey, Steve, let's go to room service. I want shrimps, jumbo shrimps, and a big, fat T-bone. What the? Whoa! <laughs> Get into the lives of athletes off the field. The Life, presented by Sprite, Saturdays at 10 a.m. on ESPN. Third round underway between Andre Ward in the red trunks and Julie. Last round emerges here. A big second round for one of the boxers. In this case, Andre Ward. He has an 8-2 lead. And so for Julius Fogel, time is very critical here. I'll tell you what, I thought his corner gave him real good advice. He told him, punch with him from now on. Don't wait. Fire with him. you got to fire with him. you got to take a little risk. Otherwise, you're not going to catch him. This guy's got too, too many skills. Now, one good thing about firing with the other boxer is that even if he is scoring, you can prevent the three of the five tabulations coming in within one second of each other because judges have to tabulate for you, too. So it's a negating factor at the very least. He's coming forward now. You're really coming at him. Full trying to put the pressure on him. And blocking some of Ward's best shots. Ward, again, thought about going to the top and then didn't. But he leaned over, fired two jabs, and then Fogel caught him. Big right hand by Fogel, and he finally gets on the board in this round. That was his first point of the round. And he did it by punching with him. Got to punch with this guy. Ford, the Fogel backing up Ward is something he's been able to get to this round. But he had a big hole to start out the round with, and let's see what he has facing him when we go into the final of this one. I feel it, champ. Looking real good. How you feeling? Looking real good. Son. Talk to me. Hey, get your breath. Now, this is round four here. Championship round. We got to go. That's right. Good lateral movement. We got to be sharp. We got to be sharp on the lateral movement, okay? No right. bagging up. Just lateral movement. Make it be honest with you. Make it be honest with you, okay? I'm on okay. Andre Ward trying to get it on the inside and does finally Breathe catch good. him with a left hook. Breathe good. Breathe good, Dre. Some Looking good, though. Unfortunately, for the right hand. That's enough. That's only trying to land. That ain't nothing happening. That's about folks. All right? This is it, Ray. This is it. Here goes Fred. 14 to 5. And try to go to the right a little bit, too. Suck it out. Final round. Action. Andre Ward and Julius Fogel. Fogel scored, as you saw, at the end of round three, but Ward controlling matters because of his early assault. He finds himself in very comfortable range here over Julius Fogel, who he beat before. Julius Fogel has just got to let those hands go. He just cannot try and out outbox the guy. He doesn't have the speed to go with it. Got to punch with him. It's his only hope. We've seen guys have eight-point rounds before, but not usually when they trail by eight. And usually not when you're going against a, gun, a guy like this guy. Andre Ward's got fast hands, great reflex. He's not going to let you score a bunch of punches in bunches. 
Good straight left hand and a hook by Andre Ward. Very impressive fight for Andre Ward so far. Oh, well, we had a knockdown, but it was the cameraman. Well, if the referee steps in, he still has to get up by eight, or the cameraman's out. We'll give him ten. Vogel trying to get some offense going here. You saw some elusiveness there by Ward, but he did go straight back. And even though he eluded a shot, he'd prefer to be moving on angles. Scott Ward seems to be indicating from his demeanor that he's got a lead and he just wants to preserve it. He's just finishing the fight. That's all he's doing. He knows he's got the win. Doesn't want to do anything careless. Oops. We could get three points for a takedown here, though. Three of those, and Fogel could be back in it then. That's right, he could be in the Oh, Andre Ward, straight left hand, two left hands. Scores with those two left hands, punctuates. Good performance by him. Very impressive performance. 17 years old, he, he's got tremendous skills and a tremendous future. He had no real downtime. He spurred it in some cases, and then at the worst, he was measured. We're ready for the final announcement of this one. Ladies and gentlemen, bound line, 165 pounds. The winner comes from the red corner, Oakland, California, Andre Ward. Andre Ward comes up with a nice win at 165. I hate talking. Who the bitch?